So we have arrived at Rodney Parade for the game against Newport County. Just got my programme. A couple of quid, not too bad at all. A lot of people seem to be crying out for two up front. Schofield plays three at the back, uh, but overall, let's just see exactly what we do today. But the light has come out in just under half an hour's time. Traffic was bad to start off with, but then sped up, and we got there in about four hours. So not too bad at all. So let's go and get the team lineups at two o'clock for today's game at Rodney Parade. So the lineups have just come out from Doncaster Rovers and it goes like this. We've got Jonathan Mitchell in goal. We've got Cal Noyle, James Maxwell, Rochelle Williams and Charlie Seaman. Interesting. Clayton, uh, Biggins, Klaus, Tommy Rowe, Max Waltman and George Miller. And on the bench is going to be Jones, Taylor, Long, Hurst, Agard, Ravenhill and Faulkner. Overall then, I would probably see it, I mean, e even against Walsall, we played Rowe as a left centre-back. Then you'd be looking here at maybe N Maxwell and Seaman at wing-back. Williams, Noyle and Rowe as the centre-back. It's going to be interesting. We will just have to see how it works out. So overall today, like I said, Newport have won the last three <laughs> league games and they're unbeaten in the last six league games. It's going to be very, very interesting to see exactly how we're going to do today against a team that's in some kind of form. Um, fingers crossed it's going to be a decent win today. I think I think the form book goes in Newport's favour, but I think that if we turn up like we did on Friday, it will go in Newport's favour anyway. But we need to really turn up today. We need to put away the memories of Walsall and Colchester and Kington in the FA Cup and we need to absolutely go for it today so let's just see how the situation unfolds today and uh, as one of the only games in the uh, not called off due to a frozen pitch let's just fi fingers crossed pray and hope like the Lord Jesus up above Lord and pray that uh, we get the three points today if we don't win today at least the Challendor will cheer me up Mr Dillshaw what's your score prediction today after seeing the lineup? Uh, apart from Charlie Seaman and Roshaw and Williams I'm quite happy with it uh, so I'll go 2-0 win George Miller double nice I mean to be fair apart from Williams for long maybe I think that's all we can do with the lineup. yeah it's, it's sad to see Oluwu back on uh, sidelines through whatever injury or maybe he'll and Anderson as well. Yeah, uh, Anderson, I'm not too fussed about it. <laughs> uh, since that concussion at Fleet would have been here. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I prefer Adam Long, to be fair. I think he's been good under Danny Schofield. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be happy with a 2-0 no win. It's a nice pitch. Astro, uh, ball should move smoothly. But again, it's how we uh, play and if the uh, tactics have been implemented enough for us to be good enough to get a win. And again, uh, getting shots off. I think if we're confident and clinical in front of goal, then uh, we, we could get more than two and we know that. But it's just a matter of if we're going to do it or not. So the teams have just come onto the field. Now we're getting ready to start the kickoff. Newport against Dogster Rovers. Hopefully it's a good store today. Come on, you Reds. Let's do this. How do you think line up? Rubbish line up, by the way. Come on, Rovers. Let's do this. Come on. Great turn there by Roshan Williams. Round to force pass it back. Roshan with a nice little dummy on the inside. It's good being in this stand because you're right next to Newport fans. Go on. Where's Miller? Go on. Press him down, press him down, press him down like the Xbox B button. Good ball inside. Ah, oh, terrible. Go on, Miller. Go on, Miller. Oh, Say it to Rodney. He loved it, he knew. Rodney passed the fender, score, he wanted to, he looks good. Looks fine. Joe Miller's on my mind, Daddy's Rovers number nine. Oh, Rovers, we love you, we love you, Rovers. Corner from Newcourt County. Yay. And the head has been missed. Go on, Georgie! On him, Max, on him! Hold on, James. Oh! <laughs> that was silky. Didn't go anywhere, but... It wins nutmeg of the century, at least. Another, another wonderful worked opportunity there for Rovers. Working it really well, George presses him off the ball, works it out to the wide flank. Ball goes inside. Nice turn, for, nice little flick on from Maxwell at the back, and Clayton shoots it long and wide. Lot is a long shot in the end, but the pl the play in the build up was so much better than Friday last week. So fingers crossed, we keep it going. Oh no! Try putting the ball in the box. 
Lord. Recycle the point and go again. Recycle, go again. Oh! James! Into glow! James! Did he Never! Out of play, both fans can play. Oh. Just out. A bit of hustle and tussle, a bit of a rumble in the jungle in the box. This is a, this is a pre teaser for the Royal Rumble in January. My hands and my fingers are numb. Like the Lincoln Park song. Quicker distribution, Mitchell, please. And what the bloody hell was that? We've had it, we've had our chances, but Newport are allowing more control of the game. Opportunity to break now, ball over the top. And they've won the header again. Wait. Oh no, come on! We barely winning him! We barely winning him! Go on! Go on, Charlie! Uh, who's there at the back post? Tommy Rose had a shaky game so far. I, I've got to say that, Tommy Rose had a shaky game. Newport, control back. Looking for the ball in the box. Played away again. That's the one thing about Max Waltman. I know he hasn't got much height on the opposition, but he still needs to at least try and jump and win the balls in the air. He's not glued to the ground. He can jump for it, or at least try to. Opportunity, Max! First real opportunity there. Good ball in the box from Max. Rugby's next week. Mitchell's come up to kick it long, probably. Uh, I question why. Head of our Newport. Go on! Oh, what a save! What a save! That is a brilliant strike. Well done. Are you mad? Gotta keep it going now. Gotta keep it going. Utilize that right hand side if you can. A free kick. They've gone short from the corner. The fight's the way. Long with this one. Ah, oh, Williams missed the header. I really wanted Williams to score that. Get his confidence back. Go on, Ben. Help him. Well done. Going nowhere. So we've got one minute of added time for the end of the first half. It's still nil-nil. So I might as well give him a half-time report now while we're uh, sort of to and throwing. I think Doncaster have had some control this match. I think Newport's had a little, little bit more majority of the control in the match overall. But I think Doncaster has had some spells of control in the game. Uh, we've had our chances. They've had a couple of chances. I think we've had the better of the chances compared to Newport. But I think there's been a mixed bag of chances per side. So. I think Williams, apart from that little dummy turn in the start of the first half, was shaky at times, a couple of shaky blocks here and there. Uh, Clayton was a little ropey, but still pressed a bit more than Friday. Uh, Maxwell seems to cut inside a lot and not really tracking wide as much quicker. Distribution from Mitchell's not quick enough as well. Um, Miller's running his socks off all game, pressing all the time. That's one thing I like to see. That's half time, that's nil nil. And we're not losing, which is great. It's, it's different. But to be fair, to be fair, Walsall was nil nil at half time. We know how that ended. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on the scoreline in the second half. So at half time, it's Newport County nil, Bumps Rovers nil. I think you're absolutely awful. We've learnt nothing from Friday. We're inviting too much pressure. Uh, yeah, we've had a decent couple of spells. Charlie Seaman had a good chance in here to put in a ball to Miller. Yeah. He didn't put it back. He was an awful ball. Uh, we haven't been able to capitalise on it. Harrison Biggins had a good chance. Uh, yeah. He was tipped over. But we haven't really done anything and it's the same as Friday. Uh, so hopefully the second half will come out a bit better. And, uh, you know, act like Schofield gets into him at half time. I'll be happy with that and we'll come out and score some goals. We need another man up front. Uh, you know, Miller struggling on his own to go with defenders. I think one of the main things we've seen from Newport County in the first half was their ability to play it long and counter-attack our play. We've just got to 
counter that in some shape or form and just utilise our attacking play a bit more and just take control of the game a bit more on the ball. So we uh, just need to take the control back from Newport in the second half and make our chances count. But we'll see what we do in the next 45 minutes. So it's exactly where we were at the end of the first half. No changes, no sort of switches in the play. So it is still the same lineup to start the second half. Mitchell, Maxwell and Seaman on the left and right wing back positions. Uh, Rowe left centre back, Noel right centre back, Williams down the centre in place of Anderson, um, Clayton close and big into the midfield and Miller and Maltman up front. James Maxwell should have pulled the trigger a lot sooner. Yeah. It was a decent chance. Doncaster, 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 Doncaster. It was a brilliant ball through from Kyle, cleared out. And it's on the roof as well. It's on the roof as well. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Door of the Explorer. Who are we finding? What a save, Jonathan Mitchell. Jonathan Mitchell. Newport County have a corner. Ball swung in. Hey! 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 hey. It's step by Newport. Oh, no. No. That's too much power, and that's too much wide. Carl Cafu strikes again with that run. Go on! Yeah! What a strike! What a strike! What a strike! Yes! Come on! Yes! Get in! Come on! Carl with a ridiculously good run and a fantastic strike. Fantastic strike. A, a fantastic one minute silence for John Barker, a loyal Rovers fan. We've been quite flat since the goal, but we've built it up a little bit now, sir. So. Keep it strong, boys. Keep it strong. Opportunity for a second goal. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Rovers till I die. I know I am. I'm sure I am. I'm Rovers till I die. Rovers till I die. Another chance to come forward and wrap it up! Wrap it up! Oh. Almost 2 0. Three minutes of added time, 1 0 to their overs. Over a minute left. Newport got the ball. No way. No way are we about to drop points. But a win to win, we'll take three points. We needed three points. We've got Harrogate at home next weekend, so stay tuned for that one. And for now, I'm the CH.